my body so I think I may have had a seizure and so yeah we'll see what happens with that so I have decided to go to the ER but if they send me away again like the last time something similar to this happened we are going to call the radio doctor tomorrow to make a house call so hopefully that won't have to happen and hopefully I'm attended quickly at the ER because of the symptoms um, and because it's Sunday, then again, people don't stop have emer having emergencies on Sundays, so. So we went to the emergency room and then they sent me to like a different area here, which is basically what they did the last time where they just said it was gastroenteritis or whatever. And they're doing the same thing now, except this time they're doing, they gave me IV of bucopina. I don't know what that's called in English, but I'll look it up. And um, they made me do a urine test and to press down on my stomach and it hurt so bad. Um, and now I've already done the IV and the urine test, so I'm waiting for her to call me again. Um, and then hopefully we can go home soon, because the IV did help a lot, in the sense that I'm not feeling like I can't walk anymore. But I'm still feeling the pains, but now like I'm more calm and relaxed and the cramps in my stomach or whatever they're doing aren't as bad and so yeah <sighs> but um, the lady who was putting the, the IV in she was having trouble finding it on my left arm and so she went for the right and she was still having trouble and then she was like well either your veins don't show up or you haven't been taking liquid and I'm like lady I threw up all the liquid um, but yeah, she was nice though. And so, I, I'm hungry. My whole body's grumbling. I'm still kind of shaky, I think. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to go home. Well, I have to see what she says first to see if they do the results now or what and see what else she tells me if there are more tests that I have to do or what. And then I will hopefully go home and relax and eat some rice. Because uh, whenever anyone gets gastroenteritis, they, they've always told me to eat rice with cheese. Oh, that hurt. Um, and they've even said Gatorade because of the electrolytes. But the last time this happened to me, he said to take it easy on the Gatorade because of the sugar and all that, so I got it. So we'll see what happens. I will update you once I'm home, I think. I also had a lot of trouble doing the urine sample because I'm so dehydrated, so. And then my mom even brought me water and I drank it and still very little, so I must be super dehydrated. Uh, I am editing the video and there's 
there's no final clip of the song video what happened so I'm doing it now um, uh, basically a lady told me that well that gastroenterocolitis was going around a lot of people were throwing up even the IV the lady had said that a lot of people were throwing up these days so I'm guessing it's viral since it was at a place with a lot of people yesterday maybe that's where I got it um, and she she sent me medication for the vomiting the nausea the stomach cramps uh, and like a gut protector told me to like just take it easy with food and just rice for like a week and vegetables and all that um, and then regarding the loss of vision and the possible seizure she couldn't really say if it was or wasn't I guess you have to see one to see um, but she said that was the most likely cause uh, because of all the vomiting that my blood pressure probably dropped super low and so that would explain whatever it was and apparently you can get seizures from low blood pressure if that is what it was but yeah so I am back home now Mom had already made rice before we left, so I had some when we got home. We also bought Gatorade, mixed it with some water to drink it, and then I went to sleep. And then I slept for like slept for two hours. I messaged my dad, but I don't know what happened. And then I slept for another two hours, and then got up to edit yesterday's vlog. So we have it out before midnight. So yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I'm gonna be vlogging regardless because I I'm very happy I've been doing this for consecutively. Not consistently. First time, so I'm not gonna give up. I don't know. Tomorrow will be interesting. But I will more than likely just stay home. And plus it's Monday, I just have to work. So I will see what happens then. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!